The New Mutants trailer is here, and boy, oh boy, is it something. From the horror movie vibes and the rocking Pink Floyd soundtrack, there is so much to unpack, so let's dive right in. The trailer opens on a hallway in a facility with Dr. Cecilia Reyes talking to a young girl. Dr. Cecilia Reyes, of course, is the mutant force field and agent of S.W.O.R.D., but seeing as S.W.O.R.D. is part of the MCU, we think this will be modified as she seems to be more of a villainous character. We get the question, have you hurt anyone, with the girl answering yes, then showing numerated tombstones. This is alluding to the hospital being a place where mutants are experimented on, and those numbered tombstones are all dead experiments. The girl answering the question seems to be Danielle Moonstar, aka Mirage, or more recently just Moonstar which would explain the horror stylings of the film as Mirage originally had the ability to project people's fears into the real world. And since the New Mutants are all developing their powers, it looks like Danny's powers are running wild. We get shots of Danny being monitored for psychic ability by Dr. Reyes, most likely during the voiceover narration we are hearing. We get a very sinister shot of Dr. Reyes monitoring all of the children in the hospital with some eerie sound effects playing in addition to the Pink Floyd. We then get a full-on wide shot reveal of the hospital with what appears to be the name Mercury Hospital, which is a new location for the X-Men or Marvel Universes. The hospital appears to be pretty run down as well, and is featuring a kneeling angel statue over a wishing fountain, which could mean that the purifiers may be involved in this film as well. The purifiers, of course, are a group of religious fanatics led by William Stryker, a character who has popped up a couple times in the X-Men film timeline. The purifiers believe that the mutants are corrupted souls being used by the devil to wipe out mankind and thus have a religious crusade to save mankind. They have also used brainwashed mutants in the past to do their bidding, including members of the new mutants. We get an allegory about baby rattlesnakes being more deadly than full-grown rattlesnakes because they can't control their abilities, much like young mutants. We are also shown a quick shot of some type of serum being fed into an IV bag with the same coloring as the monitoring device which we saw earlier. This could just be a coincidence or a design choice, but it also could be linked to the treatments being done on Danny Moonstar. We are then shown all of the members of the New Mutants in the following order. Ilyana Rasputin, aka Magic, who has the ability to manipulate magic as well as teleport interdimensionally. She also controls a mystical weapon called the Soul Sword, but we doubt that we will get that in this film. Roberto da Costa, also known as Sunspot, who has superhuman strength, flight, he can absorb energy from the sun and rechannel into energy blast. Rain Sinclair, also known as Wolfsbane, who has the mutant ability of lycanthropy, which allows her to go back and forth between human and wolf with superior hearing, sight, and smell, as well as the ability to see in the dark and heat signatures. She also has razor sharp teeth and claws while in werewolf form. We have another shot of Danny Moonstar before moving on to Sam Guthrie, also known as Cannonball, who has the mutant ability of jet propulsion as well as being encased in an impenetrable force field while flying. After our introduction shots, we stay with Sam and doing a classic horror movie beat where he walks up to something and gets hit with a jump scare. The jump scare in this case is a dryer bursting into flames with a person's hand inside of it. Now this could just be a vision or it could be Sunspot trapped in the dryer. Not quite sure how he would get in there, though. There is a quick shot of Dr. Reyes with her face all slashed up, which would lead one to think she had an encounter with Wolfsbane, which didn't go very well. We are then treated to a series of shots with Danny Moonstar and some very Nightmare on Elm Street-esque wall monsters, which look to be fear projections. Then we see Magic and Cannonball investigating something, which leads them into a patient's room, and we encounter a smiley face mask wearing assailant, who proceeds to remove his mask, and we get a one-frame look at what appears to be a monstrous face. Is this a mutant, a projection, or something else entirely we don't know? Next, we get a very quick shot of Wolfsbane walking in the shower with what appears to be a W branded on her. But more likely than not, she was branded with an M for mutants by a group of people who hate mutants, but was held down when branded so when she stood up, it looks like a W. We end out the trailer with some rapid shots of action and horror elements, as well as some text cards letting us know that there is something new to fear, pretty much confirming the full-on horror aspects of New Mutants. We are then treated to a very un-superhero-like title card for the film and a post-title card pop with Dr. Reyes, most likely still talking to Danny Moonstar from the earlier scene in the trailer with the rattlesnake stuff. We then get a classic trailer move, jump cutting to Danny being sedated by a breathing machine for one last bit of panic and scares. And that's what we got from the trailer. The movie looks to be fantastic if one two-minute teaser is anything to go on. We are cautiously optimistic for this movie and can't wait till until it hits cinemas in April of 2018. If there is anything we missed in the trailer, let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos.